Fandango is an interactive viewer for recombination and pangenome data. It is a user-friendly online platform. By drag and drop the output from commonly used bioinformatic tools, you can visualize the output easily and create paper quality figures. Working with Fandango, the GPS project has made recombination and pangenome analysis results of 73 common pneumococcal strains or GPSCs available on this web page. But of course, you can create your own. Let's get started. To view recombination patterns across genomes, you will need four files. One, a tree file. Second, a metadata file. Three, a recombination pattern file. Four, an annotation file. These two files are output from Gubbins, a recombination detection tool. Metadata can be prepared in Excel. Annotation file is generated using Pruka, a prokaryotic annotation tool. Now, drag and drop these four files onto Fandango. You will see all the information on one page. Click Settings. You can turn on and off the metadata. Mouse over the metadata. You can see the sample ID of each isolate and its corresponding data. Recombination regions are shown by blue and red blocks. Blue recombination blocks are unique to a single isolate. Red recombination blocks are shared by multiple isolates in a clade. The position of the blocks represents their position in the genome. The plot below shows the recombination frequency. The peak here indicates that this region is a recombination hotspot. This strain expresses two serotypes. They are indicated in two colors, purple and blue. To investigate the recombination related to this capsular switching, we look for red recombination blocks that are common across these 10 blue isolates. For example, these three blocks, one, two, three. Let's zoom in to the annotation of the first one. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in. This red block starts right after a gene named DEXB. This is one of the genes flanking capsular encoding region. In its downstream, we see capsular encoding genes. And the recombination block ends at a gene right after RLEA. RLEA is another flanking gene of the capsular encoding region. Mouse over the recombination block. It shows the coordinates of this recombination in respect to the reference genome. NLL stands for negative log likelihood. Higher the number, more likely to be a recombination. Here, it strongly indicates this is a recombination. And SNP indicates the number of SNPs identified in this block. And TAXA indicates the number of isolates share this recombination block. Fandango can visualize data from commonly used pangenome analysis tools, such as Rory and Panaru. To visualize the output, we will need four files. One, a tree file. Two, a metadata file. Three, a gene presence and absence matrix. And four, an annotation file. The tree file is an output of Gubbins. Metadata can be prepared in Excel. Gene presence and absence matrix is an output of Rory or Panaru. Here, we use output from Rory. Our notation file is generated using Pruka. Now, drag and drop these four files to Fandango. You will see all the information on one page. Along the top, there are genes with annotations sorted by their frequency from left to right. 
Presence of genes are indicated in blue, absence in white. The gene presence and absence matrix is horizontally aligned to each sample on the phylogeny to the left and vertically aligned to each gene to the top. The plot below shows the gene frequency across the pan genome. Genes from this point to the left are core genome, meaning that these genes present in all samples in this strain. To the right shows the presence and absence of accessory genes. In this pan genome visualization, we can also relate the gene presence and absence profile with phylogeny and metadata. Let's take tetracycline as an example. In the metadata, red indicates TM positive, green negative. In the gene presence and absence matrix, we are looking for this similar pattern, but in blue and white. We see similar pattern around here. Let's zoom in. This pattern correlates well with the metadata. Mouse over the gene. It shows the gene name. We can see tag M and an identical presence and absence pattern of these TN916 genes. TN916 is a common mobile genetic element associated with TM. If you think this view worth reporting in your paper, simply click P, P for print, on your keyboard. A figure showing this view in SVG format will be automatically downloaded. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The examples that we used here are reported in this paper.